Attention on deck. Please stand for our invocation. I invite you to pray. Most gracious God, we pause this morning to ask for your blessings on this graduating class. Thank you for the new insights and wisdom they have gained. Thank you for their knowledgeable instructors, committed SLPOs, and their dedicated A school staff. And thank you for the love and support of their family and friends. God, help them now to feel the true measure of their accomplishment and know that it was worth it. May today be a memory that burns bright within them. Strengthen them and bless them now. This is our prayer. Amen. Please be seated. <coughs> Mary Williams, chaplain, staff, family and friends, and most importantly, graduates. Welcome to the graduation ceremony for Machinist Bank Class 2301 Alpha and Electrician's Bank Class 2243 Mike. Today is a special day for these sailors as it marks the completion of long weeks of hard work. I am pleased we are here to recognize the efforts and achievements of these young men and women. Today's guest speaker is from Orlando, Florida, who joined the Navy in December of 2015. After completing recruit training in Great Lakes, Illinois, he attended Nuclear Field A School, Power School, and then Prototype here in Charleston, South Carolina. Upon completing training, he was stationed aboard the USS John C. Stennis, a nuclear-powered aircraft carrier stationed in Bremerton, Washington. During his time on board, he supported around-the-world deployments, operational reactor safeguards examinations, sea trials, and brought the ship to dry dock for nuclear refuel. He served as an assistant main propulsion technician, where he managed the maintenance program for a 100 personnel machinery division. In February of 2022, he reported to Naval Nuclear Power Training Command, where he was assigned as an instructor in basic machinery, where he has taught three classes with a 100% pass rate to include the machinist mate class graduating today. It is my pleasure to introduce machinist mate first class circus warfare, Matthew Conte. Thank you, Petty Officer Wagner, for the introduction. Good morning, Commander Williams, <coughs> Chaplain, staff, family, friends, and most important, graduates. This is a momentous occasion as you complete a rigorous program and has prepared you for a vital role in the United States Navy. As you stand here today, ready to embark on your next journey, I know you are filled with pride and accomplishment. You should be proud of all you have achieved and the skills and knowledge you have gained during this time in the program. You have been tested and challenged in many ways that many of us can only imagine, and you have risen to the occasion time and time again. You have proven that you're dedicated, hardworking, committed to excellence, and these qualities will serve you well as you take the important responsibility of operating and maintaining nuclear propulsion plants. As you move on to power school and begin your new assignments, remember the lessons that you've learned and the values that you have embraced. Remember the importance of teamwork, discipline, and attention to detail. Remember, the actions, remember that your actions have consequences and that you are responsible for the safety and security of your shipmates and to the nation. And most importantly, Remember that you are part of a larger community of sailors who stand together in service to serve our country. You are not alone in this journey. You have the support and guidance of your fellow sailors, as well as your family and friends. So as you take the next step in your naval career, embrace the challenges and opportunities that lie ahead. Know that you have the skills, the determination, and the spirit to succeed, and that you always will be an integral part of the United States Navy. I'd like to leave you today with a quote that has carried me throughout my naval career and life itself. It's a short but simple quote, but sometimes the short and simple quotes have the most powerful meanings. The quote is, the people who say they can and the people who say they can't are both usually right. I believe the people sitting here today were the people who said they can. So as you go out throughout your naval career and life, try to get rid of that word can't and replace it with the word can, because I promise success will follow. Congratulations once again, and best of luck to your future endeavors. Thank you. <laughs> Military members, attention! Graduating students, I will now frog you to the rank of third class petty officer. To all who shall see these presents, greetings. Greetings! 
Know ye, by the authority invested in me, in reposing special trust and confidence and patriotism, valor, fidelity, and the abilities of these sailors, I do hereby appoint you to the rank of third class petty officer in the United States Navy. As such, from the 13th day of January, 2023, your appointment as petty officer in the United States Navy makes you, makes you heir to the long and proud tradition of naval leadership. By accepting this appointment, you are charged with demonstrating those standards of performance, moral courage, and dedication to the Navy and the nation, which may serve as, a, as, an, envi or as an enviable example to your fellow Navy men and women. Your desire to excel and to guide others must be boundless. Your appearance must be a model for others, and your performance must be a continual reflection of your sincerity and attention to the duty and moral responsibility. By exhibiting unfailing trust and obedience towards superiors, cooperation and loyalty to your peers, and understanding the strength to your subordinates, and you will contribute greatly to the effectiveness and good name of the United States Navy. Navy. Families, please join me in a round of applause of the Navy's newest third class petty officers. You may be seated. Each of these sailors has earned their new title. There are those, however, who stand up from the rest, as evidenced by having the highest grade point average among their classmates. The instructors, advisors, and classmates recognize them for their achievements in the classroom, and we call these sailors our honor graduates. Today's honor graduates are Machinist Mate, third class, Miles Welch. <laughs> Electrician's Mate, third class, Jackson Bigard. Honor graduates, front and center. Uh, face. The Honor Graduate Award was presented by Commander Williams and Senior Chief Alex Fenton. Military personnel, attention to honors. From Commanding Officer, Naval Nuclear Power Training Command, to Machinist Mate, third class, Miles Welch, and Electrician's Mate, third class, Jackson Begar. Congratulations for achieving the highest grade point average among all graduates from your class at Nuclear Field A School, Charleston. Your standing reflects your personal motivation, academic excellence, and dedication to duty. Your outstanding performance serves as a superb example to your shipmates and is in keeping with the highest traditions of the United States Naval Service. Best wishes. Signed, S.J. McGinnis, Captain, United States Navy. Military personnel, please be seated. It is my pleasure to introduce the section leading petty officer for class 2301 Alpha, Chief Machinist Mate Nuclear Surface Warfare, Kelvin Mercedes. Uh, good morning, Commander Williams. Uh, good morning, Chaplain. Good morning, families and friends. Good morning, staff. And most importantly, graduates. First off, congratulations. Uh, during the past couple of months together, you all have made me think of words that represent you as a team. I pondered this for weeks. The words that came to mind were perseverance and grit. Nothing worthwhile is easy. No one of achievement has avoided failure, sometimes catastrophic failure. But they keep at it. They learn from their mistakes, and they don't quit. <coughs> The key to persevering is what we do in times of pain. For some of you that struggled mentally and physically, that changed it. Heartache, loss, disappointment, they don't leave us the same. You can come out bitter or you can come out better. You can come out defeated, giving up on your dreams, or you can come out with a new fire, a new passion, and excited about the opportunities in front of you. Don't just go through it, grow through it. That difficulty is an opportunity to get stronger. This is what came to mind when I thought about you young men and women. Your loved ones should be proud of you guys. I know I am. You inspired me throughout the time I got the privilege of being called your section leading petty officer. But this is just but one step in the amazing path 
you guys chose to undertake in the most academically challenging military institution in the entire planet. But do not falter. You will continue to learn and grow as the amazing leaders I know you will become. We will be there with you every step of the way. I would like to leave you with a quote from Rick Warren. He's a pastor. Uh, remember how far you've come, not just how far you have to go. You are not where you want to be, but neither are you where you used to be. Now presenting class 2301 Alpha. Left. Face. Machinist mate, third class, Robert Barger. <laughs> Machinist mate, third class, Ethan Burleson. <laughs> Machinist mate, third class, Luis Bustamante <laughs> Alcón. Machinist mate, third class, Marvin Cannon. Machinist mate, third class, Emmanuel Carrion. Machinist mate, third class, Pascal Casio. Machinist mate, third class, Nicholas Cunningham. Machinist mate, third class, James Dow. Machinist mate, third class, Ryan Dunmire. Machinist mate, third class, John Egan. Machinist mate, third class, Devin Engel. Machinist mate, third class, Wyatt Erickson. Class leader, Machinist Mate Third Class, Mason Jeffers. Machinist Mate Third Class, Hunter Marshall. Machinist Mate Third Class, Nathaniel Martinez. Machinist Mate Third Class, Kyle Prescott. Machinist Mate Third Class, Alex Stanley. Machinist Mate Third Class, Caleb Stennett. Machinist Mate Third Class, Emma Young. The following sailors are going to graduate with distinction. Machinist Mate Third Class, Elias Allardin. Machinist Mate Third Class, Ricardo Criasatello. Machinist Mate Third Class, Augustine Martinez. Machinist Mate Third Class, Timothy Vargas. The following Sailor is going to graduate with honors. Machinist Mate Third Class, Miles Welch. Section leading petty officer for class 2243 Mike, Chief Electronics Technician, Submarines Qualified, Michael Brannon. Good morning, Commander Williams, Chaplain, staff, guests, uh, graduates. Um, my students know that I'm not really a congratulations sort of guy, more like a what could you do better next time sort of guy. So you'll only get one in this speech, um, and I've tried to hammer home a few of these lessons already with my class, so mechanics listen up. Um, I imagine that most of you asked yourselves the question, am I going to make it? Maybe some of you even knew at one point that you wouldn't. Some of you might, not, might even be surprised to be sitting here graduating. Nevertheless, you are here. You'll ask yourself those same questions 
am I going to make it in power school? If you ask yourself the same question at Prototype, you will likely ask yourself that same question at every milestone you encounter in your career as a nuclear operator. And oddly enough, you will find yourself conquering those seemingly insurmountable tasks over and over again with more and more ease. I promise you that it is not because the tasks become easier, but rather that you become stronger and tougher after every test of will you encounter. This is the process by which we create and mold the best and brightest the armed services have to offer. It has worked for about 70 years. It will continue to work for many more. So now I want to discuss a couple things you guys may have heard me say, um, my class specifically. So the first one is, do the best of someone better. Uh, in most cases, I use this as a little jab when someone falls short accomplishing a task uh, I know they could have done better. The specific comment didn't mean you lacked the ability to do something. It merely meant that maybe you didn't possess the will. Possess the will. The second one is, sailors don't have time for anything. They make time for everything. Being a sailor is a lifestyle, not a job. You will be challenged to complete tasks, and in many cases, the difference between success and failure will depend on if you made the time for it. Make the time. The last one is definitely something you've heard from me before, and uh, you may even remember when it happened. I think it was somewhere around e-funds. Um, I asked you all two questions. The first was, do you remember the score you got on your last exam? To this, I received many head nods and smiles, indicating that they knew exactly how well they did. The second question included a little bit of amnesty on my part and required the raising of some hands. I asked, who in here followed the entirety of their homework procedure last night? There were far fewer hands raised than I had hoped for. The message I delivered that day was that it doesn't matter how right you are if you can't do the right thing. So, do the right thing. Congratulations. Now presenting class 2243 Mike. Hey! Lecture should be made. Third class, John Mark. Ooh, rock! Electrician's mates, third class, Negashwar Bodhi. <laughs> Electrician's mate, third class, Robert Seha Chow. <laughs> Electrician's mate, third class, Ethan Donovan. <laughs> Electrician's mate, third class, Christopher Erlin. Electrician's mate, third class, Alejandro Flores. <laughs> Electrician's mate, third class, Christian Guevara. <laughs> Electrician's mate, third class, Desmond Harmon. <laughs> Electrician's mate, third class, Alexander King. <laughs> Electrician's mate, third class, Hezekiah Leonor. <laughs> Electrician's mate, third class, Michael McDonald. <laughs> Electrician's mate, third class, Isaac Mercado. Electrician's mate, third class, John Richard. Electrician's mate, third class, Jaden Romine. Electrician's mate, third class, Harrison Sainz. Electrician's mate, third class, Adam Shields. Electrician's mate, third class, Takumi Suzuki. Electrician's mate, 
Trisha's mate, third class, Evan Thornton. Electrician's mate, third class, Horacio Zarco. The following students are graduating with distinction. Electrician's mate, third class, Liam Nelson. Electrician's mate, third class, Dariel Stickles. The following sailors are graduating with honors. Electrician's mate, third class, Jackson Bigard. Electrician's mate, third class, Anna Meyer. Electrician's mate, third class, Gabriel Taylor. Each of these sailors exerted a great deal of personal drive, overcame obstacles, and made individual sacrifices to be here. Still, there are those that, by the manner in which they have completed their training, stand out by the rest. What sets these sailors aside from these peers are the consistency of their efforts, their refusal to quit, and the example they set. They demonstrate the qualities most treasured in the Navy, <coughs> those of honor, courage, and commitment. And these sailors are the recipients of the Commanding Officer's Personal Excellence Award. Today's recipients are, when I call your name, please stand and remain standing. Machinist Mate, third class, Hunter Marshall. <laughs> Electrician's Mate, third class, Anna Meyer. <laughs> Awardees, front and center. The Personal Excellence Award will be presented by Commander Williams and Senior Chief Cameron Winders. Military personnel, attention to honors. From commanding officer, Naval Nuclear Power Training Command 2, machinist mate, third class, Hunter Marshall, and electrician's mate, third class, Anna Meyer. The Commanding Officer's Personal Excellence Award is awarded to the student in each class who has exhibited the greatest degree of professionalism. This student stands apart by virtue of hard work, personal dedication, and a demonstrated desire to succeed. Your dedication to duty, exceptional academic efforts, and perseverance in the face of adversity have made you an outstanding example for your classmates to emulate. The professionalism exhibited while performing your duties is in keeping with your Navy Corps values and warrants your selection and recognition today as recipient of the Commanding Officer's Personal Excellence Award. Signed, S.J. McGinnis, Captain, United States Navy. <laughs> it is my pleasure to introduce the Director of Nuclear Field A School, Commander Williams. Give them a chance to get around. That's my favorite part of the graduation ceremony because they have no clue they're getting that award. So I'm pretty freaked out. What do I do now? <laughs> hey, uh, welcome to Charleston. Uh, hopefully the weather supports a good weekend for you here. Um, I made them set and list to all my words of wisdom for about an hour yesterday, so we didn't have to put everybody through the pain today. But uh, one thing that I would like to uh, hit on, actually two things. Uh, the speech is given here today highlight a great thing about this program because we take some of the brightest minds out in our country because they have the capability to do well in nuclear power program. But capability gets you nowhere except the front door in this program. You've got to have some inherent characteristic traits that take you to success. And each one in this room is showing that they have that. Because uh, not everybody that showed up the first day of school or sitting here graduating right now. And it's that characteristics like grit, resiliency, drive, work ethic, that really drove them to be able to utilize that capability they have. And uh, it's a good congratulations to you guys on the left side of the room because a big part of what each one of these sailors have to bring to the table is the investment that you put in them. So, yeah, it's not only a 
Congratulations on the graduates today. It's also a celebration of the parents and family they developed and got them here. Hey, it's, we do this every week. You know, I graduate every week, and not one of them gets any less important to me because I'm a father, right? So we are celebrating their military milestone in their lives. But as a father, I'm, I'm celebrating this milestone in their lives. They are professionals today. They have a resume. They are competitive in the job market. They have security for not only themselves, but those that depend on them to their own grade. You know, for me, as for my daughters, all I can really hope for is that they can stand on their own without me. You know what I mean? And that's what they've accomplished. Right? They can handle it. They have it. They got it for themselves the rest of the time. They can have their own family. So that's a major point in your lives. And I know you're kind of young to realize it right now. You know, it's not tangible like we talked about, that extra money in your paycheck, that crow on your shoulder, the petty officer that people are going to say to you. But I tell you, when you need to leverage it, it's going to be something very important. It's going to be something that you guys are very excited about. But I use that word equity because what do we do with equity? We grow it, right? Two more legs in that milestone of that nuclear certification, that it's going to be something that is extremely rewarding for you. So I look forward to your success down that pipeline and also your success on the field. Congratulations, freshmen. Please stand for our benediction. I invite you to pray. Gracious God, we thank you again for this time that you have given us to honor and celebrate these graduates. We pray that they will go to their next phase with a sense of pride and confidence, ready to face what lies before them. Bless them now, God, always providing them guidance, safety, and protection. May they strive toward excellence in all that they do. May they go now with the knowledge that they have your fullest and most profound blessings. In your holy name we pray. Amen. Amen. This concludes today's graduation. Graduates, congratulations and well done. Military personnel, carry on.